Hello everyone, this is Cypher Deck, and today we are back in Project 1999 on Chords. And as you can see, we are in Kazakh Rule. This is a guild group. It's kind of our static group, but we rotate in and out based on the players or people that are online at the time. So we move through here pretty well, and we uh, work together as a cohesive unit um i don't even i think i enunciated that incorrectly um but anyway we uh we work together well and we move through into uh c4 now c4 is what uh we used to call it back on live on my server which meant uh the four corners or the pyramid the larger pyramid in the zone um, not mistaken for the period, uh, <laughs> the pir the pyramid that the Avatar of Fear spawns in, because that is a completely different thing, and we called that the bubble. So, uh, just so that you understand, we are not here for the sea, uh, for the Avatar of Fear. We are here for experience and uh, any drops that we are able to get. Uh, we weren't uh, able to get anything specific, uh, but we were able to get experience, and we had a really good time. And um, later on, we had guildies help us because we had a situation happen where our cleric went AFK, and we had our ranger and our shadow knight on both ends of the area pulling <laughs> and uh, we got overwhelmed you'll notice that throughout the um, the fighting I was not um, able to mez or charm or any of those things because of the fact that these were all very very bright red to me so I wasn't able to hold a charm or mez so I figured it'd be best to just do my rotation which um, from the top down it's anthem then it is my heal and then it is um, elemental guard it's the elemental song that is um, specifically uh, mana or uh, not mana but uh, magic resistant so I figured that was the best thing since this zone is all about the mana damage or the, um, they're all casters it seems like. So that's what I felt was best. And then um, I had my slow running but it rarely ever landed but I kept it in the rotation. And then I also had my snare running again resisted a lot but still had it in the rotation just in case. Um, also had um, Mez and Charm and all of that. It's just that it wasn't... Um, it was better to maintain a point on the, um, the tanks mob than to actually go ahead and try to potentially um, waste time mezzing something that I wasn't able to mez. This is um, where I was level 27 and not level 28. I don't think I'm level 28 yet um, because of a lot of instances where I died and reses just did not get me back to level. So I didn't have my level 28 single target mez, which I believe would have um, helped with a lot of the issues of resistances. So, um, there's that. We were pretty much overall a well-rounded group. We had a main tank and off tank. We had a cleric. We had a shaman, a uh, bard, and um, I can't remember what else we had. Um, I, I, I can't remember off the top of my head. But anyway, it was a, a really well-rounded group. The only thing that could have uh, made it any better was to have an enchanter specifically. Um, but our enchanter and our other shaman that we group with was out of town. Um, 
I believe, this weekend. So we weren't able to get them in the mix. Um, so there's just several things that I want to talk to you about. Well, just a few, actually. Um, number one is Wildfever is still my main, and I am going to be playing him, and I was able to finally get him level 40. I am going to start leveling a a character that I would be able to solo with. Now you might be saying, well, you're playing a wizard, you can solo with that. Or you already started a necromancer, you could solo with that. And while those are both very true, I don't want a necromancer so much. I like the necromancer, don't get me wrong, and I think they are very needed in not only the game but also in guild in our guild as far as writing goes if we ever get to that point but um i wanted to go with something that we have less of because we have several several main mains that are played as necromancers but we have very little mages we had one who was in the high end but um we haven't seen him for a while so anyway the point is is that i moved all my gear from from fever whenever i'm not playing him to my mage and um he's level eight or nine now um tried to do the shovel quest and the broom quest but had issues with that i'm waiting on petitions but anyway the point is is that i am going to also be playing a mage and I, I can hear it i can hear it now but you're you're already playing a bard a wizard you have a shadow knight that um, you made who's doing blacksmithing why do you need a fourth character and to be honest i don't i i don't need a fourth character but to be honest, I really do not like playing chords at all. The only time I like playing chords is with my guild, and that's the only time I will play chords. As far as Fever goes, I love playing him in groups. I was able to get into a Soul B group and destroyed it. Had so much fun doing that group. Um, was there with a couple friends and also was able to get a guildie to take my place whenever I left. Uh, though I don't know how long that lasted after that point. So the main point of the mage is to be able to go to dungeons and do things that I can't do if ever. Like go into Lower Guck and solo um, the Sage for the SMR so that I can um, do the, um, the shiny metallic... Uh, the shiny... Is that the shiny metallic robe of the underfoot, I think is what it's called. But that's pretty much what I want to be able to do, is those kind of things. Um, also, and I don't even think that's a better robe. I think it's more the fact that it's not the same. as It, it looks more like a wizard robe than um, the froglock bonecaster robe does. Is the, the, um, the underfoot robe, I mean... So that's why, that's why I really wanted to make the mage, is so that I could have something that can go into dungeons that Fever can't, and be able to clear my way to those kind of mobs, or go into Split Paw and invis past the double doors and, and kill um, the names down there because there's a robe that drops there. Things like that. I, I just want the ability to have that solo ability that a um, that a necromancer does, but um, also have something that would support our guild. Because once you get to the higher levels, I'll get um, uh, the the rods that I can hand out to people so that they can click them and get mana uh, back from their health and also be able to do call of the hero things like that things that would help our guild better and that's that's the main reason i made him is all of that and now as far as the sk goes um i believe i've already mentioned in a previous video that i made him for a static group that i'm going to do with a friend and her brother 
and that was the whole point of that is to have a character for that and I'm working on his blacksmithing and his other skills trying to get him um, the two-hander that um, is Shadow Knight specific has a really low delay and a very uh, good amount of damage and I can't think of it at the moment but um, I'm trying to get that I'm also trying to get a shield trying to get things for Fever because he's still missing boots and legs and needs his uh, rings replaced and his earrings replaced and so I have all these characters I understand that and then I also have a gear that I um, I designate three days a week to play um, so that I can be doing some things that I don't do on the blue server which is fin for my life against the people who want to take it and have fun doing that so that's completely off the topic of this whole situation that we're in Kazakh Thrill going and killing all these lizards and everything but I wanted to give you a heads up that there will be videos where I'm playing the mage showing you different places that I'll be killing and how I'll be killing as the mage there's um, there's different ways that you can kite as a mage as well as just full force straight on attacking so I just want to let you know <laughs> to expect it even though it really doesn't matter either way it's just it's just another character i'll be playing so aside from all of that um cords is doing well i need to get his um armor pieces finished i have all the parts to them um and as far as the mage goes um i had an issue like i said doing the the shovel Apparently either the shovel was bad or I did the quest wrong or Maybe I didn't do either. I'm just waiting for a reply back from a GM Because if it was my fault or I was duped by someone selling me the shovel then that's fine I'm not really gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna have to go back and, um, and farm it myself uh, and the shovel, the reason I was doing it is because it's the easiest one to do. You get hill giant toes and you get a gargoyle eye and then you get ruby, which is 135 plat that I lost. But um, otherwise, it's a really easy quest. So anyway, guys, that's really all I wanted to talk about today. I wanted to show you some gameplay in Kazakh Thrall. And I hope you have a great day. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out.